went for dinner. This week we are starting out with some nachos. I'm just cooking up some ground beef and a little bit of rice. This is from the Noor uh, Easy Quick kind of sides. Um, this is the taco rice. We have like like 20 of these on hand at all times. They are so good. Everybody loves them in my family, my husband, my daughters, myself. They look, they taste so good in tacos and on the sides and on nachos. Definitely try it out. And they're only like 98 cents. I use some Doritos. I just think it adds a little bit extra something for the chip base. Um, and then I just popped on my ground beef and my shredded cheddar cheese and pop those in the oven for the cheese to melt. As you can see, the chips did get a little bit too brown, but they tasted just fine, but I would cut down cooking time next time. And then I topped it off with some sour cream, some of the rice, some shredded lettuce, some salsa. Um, I put some avocado on mine, and it was really, really good. Highly recommend. Nachos are always a good decision, and they like totally hit the spot that night. I was so glad I made them. Sometimes you just need an easy meal too. This was another really easy one. This was taco salad. So we just have some canned albacore tuna, some pickle relish, mayo, and a Granny Smith apple with a little bit of salt and pepper to season it. And I love tuna salad and this was so easy. We just toasted up some, um, I think Sara Lee honey wheat bread and this kettle backyard barbecue chips, which are like kind of sweet. I like to put mine on like in my sandwich to add a little bit of crunch but this was a total hit at least from my husband and I my girls would not taste it or have any but we tried <laughs> this night we were having a new pasta dish I was trying I just used some linguine this was like a Cajun pasta dish and it was spicy and creamy and delicious I will definitely recommend this one as well as make it again I just heated up some butter in my skillet rinsed off my frozen shrimp to quickly thaw them out. They were uncooked, um, the, but they were pre-packaged from the Walmart section. Super cheap and definitely worth it. Tasted just fine to me. And then I just heated them through until they turned pink and opaque. This was the star of the show, the Creole seasoning. Oh my gosh, this was so good. I added, probably it continued to add throughout the recipe, and then I used this garlic pepper seasoning from McCormick and waited till those completely turned pink, and then I added about three-fourths cup initially of um, heavy whipping cream. You can use half and half or milk, depending on what you prefer, or you can use like coconut milk or almond milk if you want it vegan. Well, you would be vegan with shrimp, but you know what I'm saying. If you wanted to change it up, you can. Um, but I added this in, stirred it up, made sure all of everything was incorporated and the seasonings were going well. Then I had some roasted red bell peppers. I first uh, initially put only about a third of the jar in and then I ended up putting about half of the jar in. Next time I probably would add maybe some vegetables to this. I was following the recipe but I think it would be good with some vegetables. But then I did put some sour, er, um, Parmesan cheese in the cream to kind of thicken it up and on top and this was so yummy and kind of spicy and peppery and salty so good this next meal is so quick and easy I love Brussels sprouts so I roast them I chop them up and sprinkle some salt and some pepper on it. This is the Himalayan pink sea salt crystals and some everyday seasoning from Trader Joe's and then roast them I'm going to pull them out of the oven and put this Trader Joe's balsamic glaze on top, and it is so good. Next, we have these Johnsonville Grillers. These are cheddar cheese and bacon. I get these all the time. I can't help it. I'm addicted. My husband is so sick of them, but we had them one time in a party, and I've never looked back, and this was like the easiest meal. I just have one of the Hawaiian bun bagels with some cheese, and that this is my husband's really sad plate of Brussels sprouts, um, and some ketchup with some strawberries. Oh, I love that meal. It's one of my favorites. Um, this night I was trying out some new recipe. It was a chicken noodle casserole. I just used some of egg noodles from Great Value. These were like the smaller um, kind of weren't as big. And I used about three-fourths of the bag of noodles. And then I went ahead and used two cans of cream of chicken, a can of sliced carrots, a can of sweet peas, 
some panko breadcrumbs and a whole tub of light sour cream and about two to three shredded chicken breasts and a packet of ranch. I preheated my oven to 350. I know my oven's really gross. Please don't judge me. And I dumped all the ingredients in together and just got it mixing. So my uh, cream of chicken, my whole thing of sour cream, and my sweet or my sweet peas and my carrots and all that stuff. Um, for me, this was not a big hit. I just felt like it was really missing something, and I don't think next time if I made this, I would have added sour cream. I might have done something different, like cream cheese or something different to add that creamy component, but I didn't like the sour cream in it actually at all. I thought it added like a sour taste to it um, that just wasn't pleasant. I did try to add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce just to kind of add a little tang that wasn't quite the sour cream, and I just, I don't know, it didn't hit home for me. It wasn't a fan. Um, I did add some shredded cheese into it, about a cup, cup and a half of it. Um, I don't know, I wouldn't make it again, to be honest. If I did, I would definitely change a number of the ingredients, but I put some panko breadcrumbs on top, popped it in the oven to get everything bubbly and golden, and uh, I just, I would change it up again. It was definitely a warm, comforting dish, but it was not my favorite. My daughter, my youngest, who never eats vegetables or meat, loved it though, so you know, you win some, you lose some. Next, I'm making chicken parm sliders. I saw this on another um, Mama YouTube channel. I think her name was Hot Mess Mom. And she made like a big um, chicken slide or parm sandwich. So I just took some of those Purdue chicken nuggets, some Hawaiian rolls. I can, I'll eat these all the time for anything. I will figure out a way to eat them. I just think they taste good with anything. <laughs> then I take some of this Berea um, marinara sauce. Barilla, Berea, I don't know how you're saying that, but I, that's how I said it. I'm just going to smear it all on, get a good even layer. Then I'm going to top that layer off with some mozzarella cheese. Then my chicken nuggets. I think these were the perfect size for the little sliders. They fit well, and I try to crowd in spaces just so you get an ample amount of chicken in every bite. And then I went ahead and topped more off of with the marinara sauce and a little bit of mozzarella cheese again, and kind of smushed everything down so it all kind of combined together. Then I heated up some butter and garlic and poured it on top of my rolls to get them a little golden. Um, add a little bit more of a buttery element. Not that it was needed, but it definitely always helps. Pop those in my oven and they came out looking golden and delicious and they were so good. <laughs> Highly recommend. My husband loved them. I loved them. Pretty sure my girls loved them, if I can recall. But it was an easy, easy dish to make, and I highly recommend making it. So that was this week's quick and easy meals. If you liked some of them, don't forget to let me know down below if you tried some of these out. And if you want to see more of these videos, also please let me know down below. I love watching these types of videos. I'm obsessed with them. I watch them all the time to get these like inspiration when I do my grocery lists. So I decided to make some myself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video.